Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about how to grip the paddle to have a more powerful serve. The truth is, longer is better. The longer this paddle is, the faster this paddle head can go through space. And the faster the paddle goes, the faster that ball can go. How do we get the maximum length out of our paddle? How do we use that? So I took the wrap off of the handle of an older paddle. All of the paddles have a little plastic butt on the end. And you can see at some point this butt ends. And that's where I wrap my ring finger. So my ring finger goes around this little crease. So right where this grip, where this plastic butt ends, that's where my ring finger goes. And so that gives me the maximum length off of this. My other two fingers go around and my pinky doesn't really have much strength or much power. So it just kind of hangs off the end. If I do that, then if I wrap my ring finger around the end where the, of the paddle where this crease says, all I have to do is wrap my ring finger around there. This paddle's not coming loose. It's not gonna fly out of my hand. So if your thought is, well, if your one of your fingers is hanging off the end of the paddle, it's not gonna be very secure. I could essentially swing my paddle with just my ring finger around here. It, I wouldn't do it, but it would be possible because that paddle's not coming out of my hand. Other two fingers go around the grip, my thumb around here, and the pinky kind of hangs off the end. That gives me the maximum distance, the maximum length that my paddle that I can have, regardless of what paddle I have. Back to my paddle then, you can't see the end of that butt, but I can feel it with my ring finger. If I wrap this around where I know the end of that little plastic butt is on the end of that handle, I can feel that this paddle's not coming loose. Other two fingers around, and then this pinky off the end. If you're one of these people that tend to choke up on the paddle and maybe have a finger on the back of the face of the paddle, or maybe like this, or I've seen some people have their index finger up the length of this, of this handle, probably more like that, then we're losing distance. Like if I'm all the way up here and I think that gives me more control and maybe it does up on the kitchen line. If you want to do that, that's fine. But when I'm back on the baseline serving or returning server or third shots and hitting drives and I want that more power, I want that extra length and this does not give that to me. I need to have my hand all the way down on the end of that paddle as far as I can get it to get that maximum distance. One other note about this is I know that some people tend to take their index finger and not wrap it around the paddle handle. They'll put it either up here or like this. Out of these four fingers, my index finger is probably my strongest or one of my strongest fingers. And if I don't wrap it around this handle, then I'm gonna lose the strength of that finger. If I have it up the back of the handle like this, or I have it up across the face like this, then I've lost the strength of this finger for those times where I wanna grip my paddle hard. And there are some shots where I wanna grip this paddle a little bit tighter and then if I'm not using my index finger wrapped around this handle, I've lost the strength of that finger, lost the ability to grip that handle harder. Now, on average, we don't want to be gripping it with a death grip. But if I'm doing this or doing this, I've lost the ability to use the strength in this finger to grip that paddle a little bit harder when I want to. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, I see pros do this or maybe pros do this, I don't know if they do that or not, and go, if they're doing it, it must be okay. I'm not gonna argue the point. Most of the pros are younger and stronger and faster and more athletic than I am, and their hand may be stronger. So this, without even using my index finger to grip the paddle may be strong enough for them, or they may be doing it for other reasons. I'm just saying for me, if I don't wrap this around the handle, I'm going to use, lose the strength in that finger. I'll talk for just a second about how hard to grip this paddle. As I said earlier, if my ring finger is around the crease where that plastic butt ends, then this paddle's not coming loose. Kind of what that ultimately means is I can grip this paddle loosely and it's not going to come out of my hand. And so I'm not in general thinking about my grip and how tightly I'm gripping this paddle very much, really at all. I'm just comfortable almost always using a very mild, loose grip. I'm not gripping this tight unless I get this ball that I really want to hit hard. 
And so examples of that might be the serve, and I know there's opinions out there about having a loose grip when you're serving. I don't agree or disagree with it. I just know that when I'm serving, if I want all of the power out of the swing to be transferred into that ball so that ball goes faster, I'm likely gripping this paddle a little bit harder. If I don't, when it contacts this ball, the paddle tends to deflect back a little bit, and so I lose some of that pace. So give that some thought. I can't really give a number on the scale of one to 10. I could give you a three or a seven, but my three or seven is different than your three or seven because our hands are different size and our hand strength is different. So my three might be a five for you and my seven might be a two for you, I don't know. So in general, for those harder shots, so when I'm serving, I would probably tend to grip this a little bit harder because when this paddle hits that ball, I don't want that paddle deflecting back. I want all of that inertia, all that momentum transferred into the ball. Same thing for the overhead. So as this ball's coming up and I'm trying to hit this ball hard because I want the point to be over. I don't want this ball coming back. I want to hit this ball as hard as I can physically hit it and still control it. As I'm here, then if I will grip this paddle a little bit tighter, then as I'm hitting that ball None of this deflection happens. All of that energy from my paddle transfers into that ball. And I want that ball going as fast as I can when I'm hitting those overheads. I'll talk for just a second about the size of the handle. So in general, a lot of manufacturers will put out paddles in two sizes, a smaller one and a larger one. I always pick the larger one. I'm just short of six feet tall and my hand's not huge, but it's, I would say probably average for a guy, my size and my weight. And so I need that larger handle. If I were to play with a smaller handled, uh, one with a handle that's thinner, then what happens is I have to grip that handle tighter for this not to flex in my hand when I hit the ball, if I hit it slightly off center. I don't want my paddle twisting if I have an off center hit. And the smaller that handle is, the tighter we have to grip it so that it doesn't twist in our hands when we hit that ball. If we find that we're gripping that too tight, eventually we're gonna get tennis elbow because as I grip this paddle tight, and you can do this, grab your paddle and grip it tight, you can feel all these muscles in here tense up around the elbow and so, and the tendons as well, although I can't feel those. So over time, if our averages were, we have a death grip on this handle, then that's gonna give us tennis elbow. Even with that in mind, with me buying the larger size of handle for my paddle, it's still a little bit small and I don't have large hands, I don't think. And so I left the original grip on there, the wrap on there, and then I have two more over wraps on top of this just to get a little bit more thickness on this paddle. I, three's probably a little bit large for me, one's not big enough. And so the over wraps are relatively cheap, two or three bucks a piece. Learn how to wrap them yourselves. There are plenty of videos on YouTube about how to wrap and rewrap your own paddle. You can see mine's a little bit dirty now. So you can see where my handprint is on there. And that is only after just under a week's worth of playing. So even in the course of time, so I'll get that closer so you can see where the dirt marks are on my grip. These things get dirty and as they get dirtier, they get slicker. And so it's a little bit tougher to grip. And so then our tendency might be to grip this even harder because it's a little bit slippier than it was when I put the new one on. I replace that top over wrap every week on average, sometimes every four days. What that equates to is I'm here 22 to 25 hours a week. So if you think every, 20 to 25 hours of play, then you might want to replace the top wrap on your handle just to keep it fresh. They're relatively cheap. If you do this four or five times, you go, I don't know how to do this. Go do it four or five times. You'll be good enough. You'll be a pro at it. And that's all the experience you're going to need to wrap it relatively good. Nobody's going to notice how good or bad of a wrap job that you did. Replace that every 20, 25 hours. So again, you can see the dirt on mine. Now I have this weird thing where I always, I have a little marker on my paddle here and that has varied over time what I use. 
what I use that for is as I grip this paddle in both orientations, I, it feels better one way than, than the other. Since I'm gripping down by the butt, if I turn it this way, it doesn't feel as good. I turn it this way, it feels better. And so I try to always have it in that orientation, meaning that as I'm hitting a ball, the same side of this paddle is always forward on the forehand side, and the other side of the paddle is always forward on the backhand side. I primar and I did this in tennis, I primarily do this because it just feels better, just a little bit better in one orientation than the other. And it has to do with kind of the size of what's going on down here at the butt. Keep that in mind. So as you, you can look at mine, you can see where my handprint is. Primarily you can see that because it only gets dirty in one orientation because I never hold it the other way. And so the dirt's not evenly distributed on the, on the handle. Way more information than you really wanted to know. Bottom line is go practice. If you're choked up on your paddle at all, and if you have this index finger doing something different, um, try and fix that. We want this paddle to be as long as we can have it be so we can reach more balls and that as we're swinging out here trying to get more power, the further away that sweet spot is, the faster this paddle is going through space, faster that ball is going to go across that net. Go practice. <laughs>